Hey, how's it going everyone? Bearski here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to play PS4 and PS5 games on your Quest 2 and perhaps the Quest 3. This will be done on my PS4 and my Quest 2. Right now I'm just going to show you a little bit of gameplay, showing what it's like. This is Ratchet and Clank. I would like to show a more interesting game such as For Honor, but I don't want to risk getting demonetized. So let's get on to it. First thing I need you to do is to create a new user on your PS4 or PS5. This is very important to make sure you don't get any controller lag. Accept the terms and conditions, click next, go to sign in manually, enter your home location, sign in with a valid email address. This can be a throwaway account, it doesn't matter, but this is just, as I said, needed so you don't get any controller lag when you play on your main account. Just going to type in Bearski test for the online ID. Click on already verified, then go to your email you just used and verify it. Open the meta browser. Search for the CX file explorer. Make sure you click on this specific link. Click on the CX file explorer apk download dash best file manager for android link and you'll see that it's from cxfileexplorer.com click on download cx file explorer Now open mobile VR station. Click on local files. Click on all folders. Click on Android. Click on data. Click on scopes, storage, actions at the bottom of the screen. Click on step one, request access. Click on quest two. For certain regions of the world, it might say HMD storage. Click on download. Click on the quad arrow at the top right corner of CX File Explorer. Click Continue, and then click Install. Once installed, you can close Mobile VR Station. After downloading and installing CX File Explorer, we're going to be opening the Meta Browser. We're just going to go to Google. I'll type in APK Peer space Microsoft Edge. Click on the Download APK link. And there we are. And then we're going to scroll down. We're going to click on this green Download APK button right here. If an ad pops up, just go ahead and close it. Let's say download in progress. You will get a little pop-up at the bottom of the screen to let you know that you are downloading. Once the download is finished, we will go to back to Google. Just gonna hit the go back arrow. We're gonna delete Microsoft Edge. And we're gonna type in PS Remote Play. Again, we're gonna click on download APK. Should look like this. Scroll down, click on Download APK. Again, we're going to wait for that to download. On my screen, it'll look like a black download link. On yours, you'll see the, the file actually being downloaded. Once that is downloaded, we're going to open the app library, go to Unknown Sources, open CX File Explorer. I'm just going to expand the window just so it's a little bit bigger for you guys to see. Click on Downloads. Click on PS Remote Play, yada, 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 APK, peer.apk. You might get a prompt. Just click on Settings. Do not click Settings again. Wait for the secondary window to appear. Click that background window. Click on the toggle and click the bottom uh, back arrow. Click on PS Remote Play again and click Install.
We're not going to open it at this time. Just click done. And now we're going to open Microsoft Edge.apk. Click on install. We can close the X File Explorer now. Go back to Unknown Sources in App Library, click on Edge. First time running, it'll ask if you want to make this your default browser. Here we are. Click Set as Default Browser. Swap it off the Oculus App Runtime and click Edge, then Set as Default. Just click Not Now, Not Now. And then click Start Browsing. In this video, video, I kept Edge open and moved it to the left while I was open to PS Remote Play. You actually can just close it. So now go to PS Remote Play in Unknown Sources. Click Sign into PSN. You'll see that it opens in Edge. This is needed because the Oculus app browser just crashes. Now you just need to go to your email that you use to create the secondary account. Get the code punch in the code, and then click on Open External App. Click on Sign Into PSN. I would recommend clicking Modify Settings at this part. We're going to click Limited here, Confirm and Continue. When is going to close on the using your controller? Click on the settings cog on the top right. You can turn off the vibrate if you wish. Click on uh, video quality. For a more stable connection, I would say go drop down to 540 or 360. Just choose what will work best for you. I'm going to go with 360 for this video just because I'm recording as well as streaming. There's nothing in. We can click on the video quality for streaming through mobile data. I'm going to go ahead and click low. I'm going to hit the back arrow a couple times. Click on the console that you wish to play on. Click OK. It'll ask you to link your PS4 manually. On your PS4, click the up arrow, go to settings. Scroll down to Remote Play Connection Settings. Go down to Add Device. As I'm streaming this, I'm not actually able to go into this, unfortunately. But once you do click on Add Device, it'll ask you, to, it'll give you the number. Go ahead and enter the number, it'll say Check Your Network, and you're in. The window will look like this. Just go to this bottom corner and stretch it out as big as you want. Now you can play on a 100 inch TV. Pretty sweet. If you see this window, go ahead and click the white PS4, PS5 button that's in the center here. Click OK. And there we are. Your PS4 on an absolutely massive screen in your Quest 2 environment. Go ahead and go to your main account. Click the X in the bottom right to get rid of the touchscreen overlay. And then click that PS4 button in the middle of your controller and you're on your main account. So what's actually happening here is that you, the Quest 2 is using that secondary account as a spectator mode. That way your PS4 or PS5 controller is connected directly to your PS5. That way you have absolutely zero latency or lag for your controller.